Good morning. I want to welcome you to our campus, those of you that have come from off of our campus to this topping off ceremony this morning. This is a very proud and historic day for the college as we take another step toward the fruition of a dream and the construction of this magnificent science pavilion that will be a shelter for generations of students and faculty as we continue to promote academic excellence and the achievement of the mission of St. Vincent College to inform the intellects and minds, hearts and souls of the students God entrusts to us. So we, want to, we see so many of our students here today, I want to extend a special welcome to them. I hope you're getting out of class uh, with a free excuse. Dean Kaler said she'll sign any slips you need. So uh, we're excited about that. And then Arch Evett, Douglas, and Brother Norman are actually going to stand on the beam as it's raised up and taken to the top, because they have faith. I don't have that level of faith. So, uh. But uh, when I think about what we've been able to achieve in uh, a short 30 months from the time we first stepped on the path to now seeing this tremendous edifice being built and a dream being fulfilled, it's a testimony to the generosity of our donors and the faith people have in the future of St. Vincent College. So to have behind me my successor, Brother Norman, and our Chancellor Arch Abbott Douglas, who's given 20 years at the helm as our Chancellor Arch Abbott, it's an exciting day. And I also want to welcome uh, Stephanie Fitzgerald, the president of our Executive Board of Student Government, who will make remarks uh, at this time. Again, just a tremendous day uh, to be uh, celebrating our future and to uh, acknowledge the generosity of so many, beginning with the Dupre family and extending to so many throughout the state and country. On behalf of the students of St. Vincent College, I would like to express my sincere thanks and gratitude to all those who have devoted their time to planning and the construction of the Sis and Herman Dupre Science Pavilion. Without your hard work and dedication to success, this project would not be a reality. Although the ceremony is known as the topping off ceremony and symbolizes the near end of the project, I would like to think of this as the beginning. The beginning of endless opportunities for the students at St. Vincent College to excel as leaders in science. The new facilities that will be offered at the completion of the Sis and Herman Dupre Science Pavilion and at the completion of the entire Herbert W. Boyer School of Natural Sciences, Mathematics and Computing will give St. Vincent College students countless opportunities to learn and research in brand new state-of-the-art facilities. I know that the students are very anxious for the project to be completed so that they can begin having classes. The completion of the Sis and Herman Dupre Science Pavilion is another symbol that St. Vincent College is moving forward into the future. Thank you to Arch Abbott Douglas, President Tui, Brother Norman, and everyone else involved with this project for the countless hours you have spent in making this vision of progress a reality. I especially want to thank Brother Norman for his leadership as Dean to this project. Your countless hours, hard work, and dedication is greatly appreciated. As we come to the end of an era of vision and change, I wish to expend, extend a special thanks to President Tui for his leadership and dedication to the students of St. Vincent College. The students truly appreciate all that you do for us. And as we move into the future, I have no doubt that Brother Norman will keep St. Vincent College on the path of success, moving forward, always forward, everywhere forward. Thanks to Arch Abbott Douglas, President Tui, Institutional Advancement staff, for the fundraising and for all of the benefactors that have supported this project. Thanks to our faculty and students for planning in this project and for your patience during it. To our St. Vincent College facilities management staff who kept us operational throughout the demolition and throughout the construction and nearly every day through the snowstorms of this past winter. Thank you to our architects, McLaughlin Cornelius, and Filoni, Alan Holfelder, Bill Semchak, to research facilities designed from San Diego that assisted in the lab planning, especially to our general contractor, Gendico, to their CEO, Dominic Dozy, to Vice President John Zhang, to Superintendent Ken Brace, okay? to all of their subs and to all who have worked so collaboratively and so competently. We are beginning to see a facility, the Sis and Herm Dupre Science Pavilion, which will house our Boyer School, which will welcome all students, both science majors and non-science majors, doubling, nearly doubling our space for faculty and student research, 
integrating the basic disciplines of biology, chemistry, computing, mathematics, and physics, putting science on display. I invite our Archabbot and Chancellor to say a few words, to bless our beam and truss that will top off our pavilion, and to bless all of us who now and in the future will learn and live under this roof. It is a privilege and pleasure for me as the Archabbot to be here together with you this morning to celebrate this momentous milestone and to join uh, President Tui, Brother Norman, and Stephanie Fitzgerald in welcoming you to this tradition of topping out. One reason iron workers observe the topping out custom is a simple fact that they are the first workers to reach the top of the structure. I imagine that the impulse to commemorate this achievement is similar to that of a mountain climber or astronauts landing on the moon, for that matter. Topping out is simply to means that where the end is in sight, and I know for the architects, for the construction people, uh, for the faculty and students, that will be a welcome day. I wish to express my gratitude to uh, the architects and to the Gendico company and all of the construction workers who took part in this wonderful achievement to date. We gather here to pray and to give thanks for what has been accomplished so far now that the summit is in sight. Our summit is the completion of this important Sis and Herman Dubray Science Pavilion project. According to Galileo, science, the language of nature, is the language of God, the language of our Creator. And so it is only appropriate that we should place this project, all who participate in it, and all who will benefit it from it in the years to come, the loving hands of our Creator. And so in the spirit of God's all-embracing love that brings us here together this morning, let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Lord God and Almighty Creator of the universe, in your kindness, hear our prayers. For those who are constructing this pavilion, and for the students, faculty, and staff, now and in the years to come, who will grow in the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your creation. We ask you to bless President Tui, Brother Norman, and all who have given leadership to this project, in a special way, our benefactors who have supported so generously this endeavor. We bless this Sis and Herman Science Pavilion for the sake of the education of our students, to the progress of the sciences, and to learning. Lord, we ask you to make it a center where students and teachers will search for the wisdom that guides all life and strives to see Christ in the mysteries of human nature. We offer this prayer in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, who renews all creation through his ever-abiding love and who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I bless this Sis and Herman Dupre Science Pavilion in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.